Hello, everyone. Hello, my name is Dave Garen. Welcome to My Two Cents. How are you? Hope you're doing well. Hope you are uh, you're well. Today, My Two Cents. Uh, it's been in the news recently, and it's been in the news a lot. And it's a real thing. It's a real issue. I know I talked about the distractions, and don't let the distractions distract you from what's real and what's happening. And now it's to a point that, well, now these numbers are real. These situations are real. These are happening to real people. And now it's time to do something. Well, it, it should have been time to do something. Uh, CNN reports U.S. drug overdose deaths reached new record high. So it's like something like 2016, or the first nine months of 2016 were higher than the first nine months of the previous year, which already reached an all-time high, all-time high of 52,404. Of those deaths, more than 33,000 were attributed to op opioid drugs, including legal prescription painkillers, as well as illicit drugs like heroin and street fentanyl. Folks, it's a real problem. It's a real issue. It's something that, well, could have also have been prevented. And here's my two cents. The thing is, is that a lot of these drugs, even though they take them for real legitimate reasons in these legally prescribed situations, and whatever the doctors decide to do, that's the doctor. But you as the patient, as as our loved ones, as patients, as our friends, as patients that take these drugs, we also need to check up on them. I know we are not professionals and we don't know how they feel, but sometimes those medicines will mask and just says, you know what, I just need this to feel good. The pain is just too much. Well, yeah, the pain is going to be too much. But if you don't seek help and look for a way around that and to deal with it and to get rid of it, maybe there's an alternate method to get rid of the pain. And it's not it's not popping pills. It's not dropping out of people dropping out of life for just a couple of minutes because hey, it's fun, it's hip, all my friends are doing it. That's not what it's about. What it's about is taking responsibility. That, my friends, is the issue. And when we don't hold others accountable, when we put our head in the sand, or when we don't want to hurt somebody's feelings, that is where the problem is, that's where it lies, that's where it begins. That's where it stays, that's where it festers, and that is the only place it grows is when we refuse to do something about the problem. Anything can happen. You can get hooked on just about any prescription pill. It doesn't have to be an opioid-based painkiller. It could be anything. But those that decide, hey, you know what, I got this under control, don't worry about me, you can't throw up your arms and give up either. You've got to do something, you've got to say something, you've got to step up. Why? Because one, you love them. You wouldn't care about them if you didn't love them. And that's the bottom line. That's the truth. And so, folks, what I'm getting at here is these drugs become a problem. They're there for a reason, and they're there for legitimate reasons. I understand that. I understand that. But I also understand that things happen. People, it gets out of control. Next thing you know, people are in accidents. People are killing themselves, or they're killing others. It's innocent people. But nobody wants to look at that. Because again, nobody wants to hurt anybody's feelings. Folks, it's too late for hurting anybody's feelings. If you're big enough and mature enough mentally to think you can handle the drug and you get hooked, well, guess what? You're also mature enough and mentally strong enough to take the criticism and to say, you know what? Enough's enough. Folks, those are my two cents. Talk to you next time.